I feel like it's really echoey over here. I hope the audio is like somewhat good. What is up everyone? It's Avery. So today I have been inspired. I saw a TikTok of this girl sewing a shirt. She didn't show a tutorial, but I will show you the TikTok. Yo. Raising the Tobago's, we growing like fresh tomatoes. Them boys on fire, two fuego. We pass it round, hot potato. Everything is new, wavo. I'm with my sweetie, like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that queso. Need my bread, need that bankroll. Wake up, yes. So that is the TikTok that I saw, and I was like, wow, I need to do that. I need to make that. That is what I'm going to be doing today. But before I start doing anything, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background about my sewing history. Memories don't fade, sometimes you miss I grew up five minutes away from my grandma who is an amazing artist. She's amazing seamstress, quilter, watercolorer. She does a bunch of different stuff and she is very talented. So I grew up going to her house and she would teach me how to sew. I made quite a few different projects with her. I don't have all of them, but I do have some that I will show you. But yeah, from ages like eight to like 11 maybe, I was a crafty I sewed a bunch of different stuff. I like weaved a bunch of different stuff and then I just stopped doing it and I'm really upset that I ever did. If I didn't ever stop, I would probably be really good now at sewing because I would have been doing it for a really long time. But since I saw this TikTok, I have been telling myself, oh yeah, I'm gonna take sewing lessons, figure out how to sew. I've been telling myself this for so long and I was like, girl, I just need to like get up and do it. Even if I fail, you know what? It's okay. I'll show you the first thing that I made. Fellas, listen, if that bitch has a Sanrio addiction, leave her ass. She's fucking crazy. This is the first thing I ever made. Hand stitched this Hello Kitty and made a pillow. I don't know why I still have it. It literally just sits in a box underneath my bed, but I literally cannot get rid of it. It has so much sentimental value to me. Oh my God. <laughs> One of the next thing I made, quite a big step up, is a blanket that also has more Hello Kitty pattern on it. This has big like 2008 Pinterest vibes to it and I love it. I haven't used it in forever and I feel kind of gross touching it because I don't know when it was washed last. There is just an example of the kind of stuff that I used to make. Another fun fact, I also used to have a Hello Kitty sewing machine that my grandma bought me and I called her a couple weeks ago and was like, hey, I want that Hello Kitty sewing machine because it's her house. She lives like four and a half hours away from me. In her response, she was like, I've been waiting for someone to ask me for this. And I was like, girl, who? It's my sewing machine. No one else is getting it. You think my niece is getting it? Oh, hell no. That is my sewing machine and I'm getting it back. My grandma told me that she's actually used it quite a bit of times to work on her different projects and then it still sews really good. God, I miss it so much. <laughs> I spent like three minutes showing you guys what I got, which was completely unnecessary. So here's me voiceovering it and cutting it down. The first thing I got is packaging paper. I got this to make my pattern. This is what the lady Joann's told me to buy. So I just went to a different hardware store and bought that and it's also cheaper. Then I got my fabric, of course, my leopard print, and I got some lace. I got two different ones. Then I got some brown thread, some elastic, and then I had this box of sewing supplies that my grandma gave me, either for my graduation present or my birthday present last year, but it just has a bunch of different little sewing supplies in it, so I was using that as well. Thanks, grandma. So, since this process was, like, so tedious for me and I literally had no clue what I was doing, I am going to voice over some parts because they just took so long. For example, me setting up the sewing machine, I really thought I knew what I was doing, but it just took me a while. So step one, if you are also a beginner like me, search up how to freaking thread your sewing machine because it just took me way longer than needed. Also, some sewing machines when you are threading them are just a little bit different. And this was different from my Hello Kitty one, which is the one that I was used to. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Hi, I'm on my floor and I am going to be making a pattern. I kind of mentioned this earlier, but if you don't know what a pattern is, basically you draw out the different pieces from your garment. So I'm making a tank top. So I'm gonna have like one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I probably won't need one for the straps. Like four or five different pieces that I'm going to be sewing together. I am going to draw those out. So then I kind of have like a tracing for the fabric. Here is what I started out drawing on my iPad before I actually cut the pattern out. So I have a picture of the front and the back. And then I have the two little triangles that I was going to sew together. Um, to actually pretty much make like the whole entire thing and these measurements are not accurate but here this is just kind of what 
I started out with. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even really know how to explain this because it also isn't accurate because I changed up the measurements, but um, I just kind of measured myself and drew this out the best that I could. I am going to be making four different patterns and, oh wait, one, two, three, Okay, right now I'm struggling because the girl didn't show what the back of her tank top looks like. I'm just like trying to figure out how I want to make my back. I think I want the straps to go pretty far down and just have it be like down here instead of like, so it's kind of like an open back-ish. I could even like cross the straps. That would be really cute. I think her fabric was also stretchy. It looked stretchy and mine is not. I am just trying to figure out what I'm doing for the waistband around the back. I think I just need two pieces that are the same. Here I started drawing out my first pattern and as you can, this is my first of many mistakes that I made. As you can see, I'm measuring underneath my boob area. And since this fabric is not stretchy, I did not take into account for the fact that I do have boobs. They're not big and they're not really that there, but they are there. I made the pattern too small because I didn't account for the fact that it has to like go across my boob and not just sit underneath it. So I drew out the pattern actually twice because I didn't account for that. I've already run into my first problem after cutting this out. I did not take in for account that I have boobs and that they curve. I cut this out, it's supposed to go right here, and I was measuring like underneath. This line is supposed to go like right under my armpit. So if I lay this right here, this line is supposed to go right in the middle, but I didn't measure like across my boobs. I just did under this line and this line just need to extend another inch. So let's run this again. Uh, I will do this. Here is like kind of my pattern right now. I actually ended up adding two inches from the lines that I showed you guys and it ended up working pretty well. So here is me pinning my fabric to, I mean my pattern to the fabric and then cutting it out. And then I was able to start on the sewing machine. Finally, this part literally took me so long. Like this probably took me like three hours. Also, when it came to cutting around my fabric, I made sure to leave around like a half an inch around the outside of the pattern just to make some room for hemming. I have a lot of back pain currently. Um, I finished sewing the pieces. So now I believe the next step, can I turn this on? I believe the next step is to hem the sides of everything. So it will basically just give it like a really nice straight edge. But I'm just going to hem all of these edges using a straight stitch. My problem is, is that I literally don't know like what a straight line is. Like I can't make anything straight. <laughs> It looks pretty good, I don't know. Something went wrong here. This was another common theme in my video was me sewing something and then having to unpick it because I somehow messed up. So after sewing a couple edges, I finally was able to sew the two main pieces together. And this is what that looked like. Okay, I sewed the top together. The line isn't very good, but I'm not very worried about it because I'm going to put a piece of elastic right here later. So it like scrunches up right here. So I just barely finished tying the lace. <laughs> it doesn't look like that much, but I have been working on this for so long. And this is like what it looks like, but it's like, pointy right here, you know? Ew, I look so crusty. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Oh my God, it's six. <laughs> I've been doing this for six and a half hours and I'm not Wait, even done. Wait, I thought you were at 4.52. I have an update for you. This is what I'm working with so far. It's like kind of sheer. I need to sew this to this, but it's not looking that bad. I just have this part that like wraps around the back and that's what I have been doing. I want to be done, okay? <laughs> I don't know if I can get the bottom on. No, I'm also wearing a shirt oh, already, yeah, true. so. <laughs> it looks so bad. No, it doesn't. It looks really no, good. No, straps. <sighs> um, it is... 8.30 and I have been working on this all day. It's pretty close to being done right now. I'm making a strap and I sewed it inside and out. So 
I'm turning it the right side in. This has just taken me so long and I've done like little updates on my vlog camera, but this is like so experimental for me to the point where I would feel wrong calling this like a tutorial by any means because I'm sure the girl that made that TikTok didn't spend like all day making it. I don't know, maybe she did. Here's what my shirt looks like so far. It's pretty cute. I have made like a lot of mistakes. For example, I sewed the seams closed like this. So there's like a flap that goes back. And my mom came down and she's like, why did you do it like that? Because you know, it just kind of looks weird. So I fixed one to make it where it doesn't have that and it's just closed. I need to fix that side and I need to finish this. I think I'm pretty much done. my shirt is done. Last night and this morning, I was randomly having so many complications with my sewing machine that I didn't have the whole entire process. I'm not gonna lie, I had a little bit of, not a breakdown because I was fine. I was just having a moment. I wanted to get this shirt done. It didn't turn out the way that I expected at all. It's cute, but I'll talk about it later. I think the last clips I didn't film was maybe me making the little sleeve thing and then also oh I guess I made a couple changes I cut the lace off on the sides and like hemmed um, a new thing because I didn't like the way that it looked with all the lace on top but yeah I am just going to talk about a few things that I learned now that you guys have seen like the finished shirt now that I've finished the whole process first thing I learned buy a stretchy material all clothes for the most part have like a little bit of stretch Unless it's maybe like a button up shirt or something, which is not what I mean. For something that's going over, especially like my boobs. And because I wanted it to be like a tighter shirt, you can see down here, it's like a little bit loose and it would probably be like that all the way around if I didn't add an elastic band right here. Along with that, don't settle for material. I hate this lace. It's so rough and it's not soft at all. If I went online, I probably could have found better materials. Um, if you're a very much a beginner just like me, or even if you're not a beginner, cut yourself some slack, man, if it doesn't turn out perfect. I have a lot of technical errors in my thing. Like, it's not all sewn together perfectly. My lines look like it. They're not straight at all. It's wearable. It looks good from a distance. Kind of. I don't know. I feel like right here is like super unflattering. I think this would be fun to turn into a series. Maybe next time I can talk more about what I learned like on the actual sewing machine. Even though obviously I'm not an expert by any means, but I feel like when you want to make stuff like this, it's just hard to get started. That's how it is with pretty much every skill ever once you start it's like the hardest part but i think that's it for this video i don't know i like hate this shirt but at the same time i send a picture to like four different people and it's like look what i made so i must not hate it that much if i'm trying to show it off to people bye beep be more positive like make a list of the things that you felt like you could have done do next time to make it better yeah that's my advice <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> Just keep on trying because you never do nothing if you don't try. But yeah. if you try, you at least know, okay, well, that fabric wasn't right, or maybe you didn't use the right thread, or needed to be stretchier, or do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't be discouraged. All right, I love you. Goodbye. I love you too. Bye, have fun. Bye.